Hi, welcome back for another look at the new features in ArtRage 4. Uh, first, let's take a look at how you can automatically back up your files. So let's go into the preferences, ArtRage preferences. And well, while I'm here, I think I want to change uh, colors. I'll do that. And now let's go to advanced purposes. So here uh, you can store backup files automatically. Here I have mine set at one, but you can go all the way up to 26. And so the lower numbers, as you create new backup files, those are replaced with the newest file uh, that you have. And you can play with this and see, you know, what it does and what works for you. Uh, so this is good to have if you have an important project or maybe your computer is not stable so uh, this is good to have and also if you want to um, save any of the backup files you can open them uh, rename them and put it uh, or when you put in the new name uh, then it won't get erased uh, when more backups are done okay so I'm putting mine back at one Let's click OK and you see my highlights changed okay now let's take a look at the layers make this one visible and now we have some new things it used to just be you could just lock the transparency now you can separately lock the transparency so now when I paint oops I'm on the wrong layer so I have to be on the layer that I've locked and now I see the transparency locking the transparency is working and while this is here I can move this around but if I don't want to move it around I can lock the position so now it doesn't move also I can lock the paint so that it doesn't mix so first let me get some paint that will mix and get the brush okay so let me change the color okay so now you can see it's mixing together let me unlock it let me just use lock paint and see nothing will happen can't even paint on it okay then of course I can lock all in which case I can't do anything okay so those are the new locking features that are available in the layers okay so now let's look at transformations so if I click for the transform tool and go to settings we see we have uh, some interesting choices available to us first we have the non-uniform trans transformation so if I click here and then click here and now this allows me to just drag one corner and move that whereas before this was not possible okay so I can transform that and distort it and deform it as much as I want uh, also we have the, non the perspective tool So with that, and I can select. So now, if I just want one corner, you can see how it just distorts. And that's a pretty cool effect. Now I'm just clicking and dragging uh, one corner. So let me just reset that. Now let me show you how to use it uh, to get to get a um, one point perspective. So if I hold down the shift key while I drag, if I drag from the left corner. The opposite right corner will come together and now I have a true one-point perspective going on okay and I could do the same uh, from this corner Whoa! look at that here okay so this is the transform tool which now has perspective and non-uniform transformations available 
Okay, so you can see you get another effect. So now this is just not uniform and back to normal. Thank you for stopping by. Please remember to rate, share, like, and subscribe. And above all, comment. I'd like to hear what you have to say. So remember, go out and just create.